Hey guys, Dr. Polly. Uh, exercise six, um, similar to exercise five, we're going to start off with a revolve, but you notice they don't give you a hint on this one. Um, remember, whenever you revolve, you only need half of the object and a uh, line of uh, axis rotation to get the majority of the shape. Now, in this one, it's a little bit more complex. We've got some angles and stuff like that. Um, and we have a, a basic thickness. Notice they only give you dimensions to the outside corners. Um, then, we, then they just give you a thickness. Um, easy to overcome. Um, you don't have to worry about what this dimension is here, what that dimension is there. Um, as long as you've got the thickness, because we're going to use something called offset. And uh, I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to do a revolve. Uh, well, we're going we're to sketch this out. Then we're going to use an offset to finish it. Uh, we're going to revolve it, and then we'll just uh, put in our two slots. Notice that they're um, evenly distributed or symmetrical to the uh, horizontal axis. And also, we're going to add our um, dr drill holes. And we'll use a circle pattern to finish that out rather than having to do each one individually. So let's get started. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch this outside um, these three lines, one, two, three, and I'm going to have my origin right here where my mouse is. So uh, we're going to do a revolve uh, again on the right plane. Um, I'm going to position it this way so that my front view is actually the front view, and I'm going to dimension. So this is 55, oops, before I dimension, it is metric. Even I forget that sometimes I get carried away talking. So um, switched it over to metric. Go back and edit. Go back in and edit my sketch. Uh, dimension. Let's get the height, the overall height here. Uh, we have a 100 radius. And this since this is the center to here, it's um, that's the radius. 55 here, 45 from point to line, and then from line to this point is going to be 75. All right, I have a fully defined three lines. And now I'm going to use a tool called Offset Entities. So I'm going to click Offset. And the parameter is the thickness. How far do you want to offset this? And so I'm going to offset it 12 millimeters. And I'm going to make sure that I have Select Chain um, checked and Add Dimension um, just to help lock it in place. And so I'm going to click one of these lines, and you'll notice that the uh, this line, these yellow lines, pop up, and they are basically this line here, all these three lines offset exactly 12 millimeters in in these directions. If I move my mouse back and forth over my um, original line, you'll see a little arrow um, that says if I click on this side of the line, um, this is where it defaulted to. Uh, that's where the line will be added. If I move over here and click below the line, then it will add the lines this way. Um, one thing I want to do while I have that selected is I'm going to say cap ends and use lines. And what will happen is, as you can, you can see it filled it in, uh, once it does that offset, it'll go ahead and connect both sides with lines. And so I'm going to click on this side, and there we go. It's 12 millimeters thick. Um, it's connected both ends with lines, and it is fully defined, and we're ready to go. So I'm going to finish. I'm going to highlight my sketch, tell it to revolve, pick this as my axis of revolution, and hit accept. And there is the basis of our drawing right here. Now the next thing we need to do is create these slots and... Um, we'll be good to go. So to create these slots, I'm going to use a mirror tool eventually. So I'm going to say extruded cut on this surface. And I'm going to lay out a center line horizontally as a reference. I'm going to use the straight slot tool. Point, uh, let's see. Yeah. Center to center. Center point. Um, click, come out, up like that. You see my center point and my origin, I'm going to select those two, and I'm going to make those vertically constrained. I'm going to dimension, um, this is 30, 
this is 12. The distance is 12.5 from there to the origin. And now that's finished. Now I don't want to draw another slot and do all that again, so I'm going to use a mirror tool. So I'm still in sketch. You can tell I'm still in my sketch tool, so I'm still inside of a sketch. I'm going to use mirror entities. And what it says is, what do you want to mirror? What entities do you want to mirror? I want to mirror this slot. And I'm going to make sure it copies. That way it doesn't uh, remove the original. And a mirror about is what plane or line am I going to use as my old mirror reference? And I'm going to pick this line. And so it literally just takes this image and flips it over uh, this line. So it will be 12 and a half uh, from here to here. And all these dimensions will stay the same. And I'll say OK. And notice it's fully defined. And so we're good with that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish that. And I'm going to say extrude, uh, cut up to next. Good. And there are those two slots. Now the last thing we need is to go ahead and put in our 8mm uh, uh, screws of the one pitch. So we'll say hole wizard. Uh, it's a standard tapped hole, ANSI metric, standard tapped, uh, look for a metric 8 with 1, uh, let's see what else, 21 millimeters deep it says, so end condition is going to be blind, by default it's 21 millimeters deep, so we're good there, um, allow that end condition thread to also uh, default. And then we're going to go ahead and say position, I'm going to click this surface here, now, I could draw a um, center line up through here to snap this on, but I'm going to use this uh, guide that says I'm currently aligned with the origin. Okay. Okay, they got that centered too, so we'll have to we'll have to mess with that here in a second. I'll tell you what, we'll just do it this way. I'll go ahead and add the center line, but. I'm only going to do the center line from this point to this point. You notice it's fully defined. And that midpoint will be the middle, what I'm looking for. So I'm going to take a point. I'm going to snap to the uh, midpoint with that, and I'm done. So there is that hole. And then I'm going to do a circle pattern in feature mode, uh, select my direction. Uh, how many do I need? I think I only need eight uh, entities or features. I will do, go ahead and just select my uh, hole. We should be good. And I will say, okay. And we have finished um, exercise six.